Uh, good morning, my people. I want to talk on this article. Someone give you a cutlass or you pick a cutlass in your dream. This dream is a warning. The dream is telling you about yourself. If someone give you a cutlass in a dream, maybe any time you want to do something or you want to take a decision or you want to fight or you want to pray, you will see this kind of dream. This dream is telling you that you are not, you can't decide what to do on your own. You can't take action on your own. You can't pray on your own. That's everything you will do or you are about to do. You must seek advice. Or before you take action, someone must push you. Someone must push you. The dream is telling you that you are weak. You are not a man enough. You don't even believe on yourself. You, can't, you don't even trust on yourself. You can't even do things on yourself. You can't even defend yourself. You can't even pray. A lot of people, they can't do things on their self. They can't pray. They can't do anything. Anything that comes out of your, their way, they must go and seek for help. Why the Bible have directed us that God has given us dominion over everything and they have given us powers to destroy, to condemn whatever, anything that we don't want in our life. You are weak, sitting down there, complaining, talking too much. Ah, this thing, this thing. The dream is trying to tell you, you have to stood up on your own. You have to rise. It's a time of action. Take action. If you're somebody that, if you want to do anything, you can seek for a friend or seek for your uh, uh, wife or your husband. Things will be getting spoiled. This dream is trying to tell you, it's a time to believe on yourself. It means that if no one helps you, you can't do anything. You can't do anything. That is what the dream telling you. You can't do anything. You can't defend yourself. You can't defend your family. That is the meaning of that dream. Receiving a cutlass in the dream. You can't do things on yourself. As you're hearing my voice this early morning, stand up and stood up for your right. Start, start believing on yourself. Before things will work on you, you must believe on yourself. First, a faith started when someone believes on himself. That means you have believed your God. Things will start working for you. Arise and take action. Stop complaining. Stop moving around. That thing that person can do, you can do it better. God is not a partial God. Second, did you pick cutlass in your dream? Either floor, in the floor, that one trying to tell you that is a time to rise, is a time to stalk, is a time to take action, is a time to take action. That you should not sit in down one place, that you should stood up and take action. I don't know the kind of uh, situation you are into or problem you have or what you have been seeking for or what you have been fighting. It can be family problem. It's a time to stood up for your right. It's a time to take action. Don't be sitting in one place. Don't be, stop complaining. Stop gossiping. You are weak. Go and, you know, stand for your right. That is why you dream of that dream. If you dream of uh, uh, maybe holding a cutlass and anytime you hold a cutlass, you see somebody, somebody will appear and say, so, no, now don't do this and don't do this thing. My dear, you are battling. Uh, 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 that is with a, 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 
family and spirit. Somebody is deceiving you. Somebody is waking your spiritual side. Somebody is making you to not move on. You can be, you know, be in one place for many years to die off. It means that there is somebody that you remove in your life and move on. Or you, that when you see, there's a lot of people that when they want to take action, they see somebody, they say, no, now, big things will be spoiling. Spoiling. Those kind of dreams, many of them are not spiritual. It's the things that you control yourself. This dream is the things that you control yourself. If somebody has been stopping you, to, don't talk, don't do these things, it's getting spoiled. A lot of people, somebody will want to go and take action in your village to talk to your people. Somebody will say, your wife or your husband or somebody else will say, you will die there. No, picking that cutlass means stand up, go, move on. You can do it. Let them stop deceiving you. You are not getting younger. Stand up. That is the meaning of this dream. This dream is the dream of enforcement. Whenever you're hearing my voice this morning, if you are a victim of this kind of dream, it's a time to rise. It's not, if it's a prayer, it's a time to pray. It's a time to trust on yourself and believe what you can do. It's a time to take action. It's a time of dominion. It's a time of possessing. It's a time to talk. If they're putting fear in your life, don't go this, don't talk, they will kill you. No, it's a time. Leave them. Whoever is God did not kill will not die. It's a time of judgment. Cry unto God. Say, God, support me. I want to take action. Pray this prayer. For God to execute his judgment upon your enemies. That thing they are blocking you to not go. Sometimes so they will use power, you know, waken somebody. They can enter somebody's life. The person will start waking you, become just nothing. You'll be saying, oh, I was like this before. To be a Christian doesn't make, make that you become weak. In times to pray or try to talk. It doesn't end only to pray. You need action. When they was doing this thing, selling market, in the church, Jesus Christ, you know, stood up for his father's business. He said, I want to claim my father's business back. He fight. He did not keep silent. Everything is not about prayer. It's a time of fashion. If it's something to talk, talk. Dying in silence is a poison that someone given to himself. I want to drop here. If you are listening to this program i would like you to go on your knees and if you believe that god can do anything if you want to have dominion or move on in life that place they say that you cannot be that thing that waking you is a time you ask god to you know come and whatever god cannot do no one will do it whatever god can do no one will do it so you're going to pray this is a three-day prayer anytime you want to sleep take this portion of Bible, a, a, a book of Psalms, 7 verse 6, he said that, cry to God, say, oh, arise, oh Lord, in your anger, lift yourself up because of the range of my enemies. Rise up for me to the judgment you have commanded. Pray this prayer. Ask God to rise, to help you. You need help. You need support hand. You need to move on. That thing that is weakening you, take God to judge and take off that thing. Remember what the Bible said in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19. It said that authority and power have given unto us. It have given unto us. Why? What are you still wasting time? Pray this prayer. This prayer is three days. Anytime you want to sleep, pray this prayer. And after praying this prayer, after the end of this prayer, you will have this. You start moving on. You start standing for your rights. Some people, they used to tie people, tie people, tie you. You become weak. Tying is not only charm. Somebody may be by your side, weaken you. Don't do this thing. They will kill you. Eh? Adam dies two times. Is it only one? Why are you afraid of death? 
Why are you afraid of death? Stand up for your right. May God see you through. May God give you, you know, strength. May God encourage you to fight and win your enemies. Thank you. My name is Kim Pride O'Connor. Please try to subscribe if you like what I'm doing so that you will see my update. God bless you.